<laughs> Hello, you guys. Hey, hey, my friends and uh, YouTubers and uh, subscribers and notifi notifiers and ring that bell, ring that bell, and thank you for the comments. What's right before you, you guys can't, can't believe. Okay, I just loaded two yesterday of um, the similar type of what we're dealing with today. And this is the Mona Lisa that has been uh, uh, pulled to color so you can see what's hidden in there. It is absolutely flooring. Okay, you got to go back to the other two <laughs> YouTube's is going to be the links down below. I'll list it number one, number two, and then this one's going to be number three. And then it have the links, and I'll be explaining it down below in the description. Please, please do not subscribe until the end of the YouTube's or whatnot, or somewhere in the middle at least, okay? Because YouTube don't give you credit. But that that's not what I'm excited about. For years, for years, I didn't know. I didn't know about this this whoops, wrong one uh, that that uh, what was going on with this painting when I used to pull it before I had it x-rayed and in this area whoops in this area that we're talking about right here I pulled out it looked like the Mona Lisa in different layers through hues and colors and uh, blacks and whites and, and, and all the other colors involved there that would would uh, give me the sight to see what was hiding. Well, we just did the YouTubes on the mustache and where it was located in the Mona. Okay, so that's going back to what I just started when I, in the beginning of, of, of the video. But this... This is the reason why he has a part of a mustache missing. And this is the reason why she looks like why she's blacked off on this side. Okay, they have x-rays and, and images of the Mona Lisa actually having, and I have it in my YouTubes, having another nose that actually has a lump. And mine did too, and I've done x-ray, I mean, uh, YouTubes on it. I should just get it up here and then we can start talking about it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's so cool. So when you overlay the Mona, you can see, you see this loop of the white? If you get it underneath the eye of the loop of mine, you know it fits. It also gives the extra nose of mine. Here, here where you have to, the, because in the other in the other YouTube that is out there, let me show you it real quick. Uh, in the other YouTube that is out there, it has this. Well, I was looking at this and I said, okay, let's make a border on it. Well, if you take a look, look at the split right here. See this split that runs on up? And I said, wait a minute, this is a body kissing this face. It doesn't look like that, what I just showed you, but it is. And that's why the mustache will get fuller and why part of it gets hidden it gets pushed so with that in mind if you take that for a grain of sand or salt or pepper or spice when you overlay again and you get it to match up in this area you have to since the colors aren't popping through you know that the mustache flows through here. So my next YouTube after this YouTube is to pull the mustache off the right side, which is the left side of the Mona. Whew. Okay, but the reason why I know it's so, because he, he has this writing. You see this writing in his mouth? Well, you have to really squint to see, but when you get this overlaid, like I just said, and you look at the Mona's mouth and you slide it on over right about here, right, right? It's it's right about here, right there. The words either are added in, in between, that spell. So what's on her mouth and what's in my man's mouth, which I'll open up for you to see, is absolutely a match to either that the words will match or the words are supposed to be added and then deciphered. So, first of all, I'm gonna open my man's. Okay, you see the words? See, they're real blurry, 
but that's where the mouth of the Mona. They either go in between these words or they overlap. I don't know what. It has an F slash four. Still don't know what that is. Now I'm gonna open this one up and it's probably gonna really get pixelized. I don't have a real good deal on it. I've told many times before. But let's see, and it should be, see there's, there should be something written zigzagged across here. You can see this little guy here. I wonder if there's even a little guy, whoops, a little guy up in here that will match. But little images to throw out different layers, okay, is what makes them match. See, this guy here, right here with this arm, looks like this guy over here. So I have to play with this on my next YouTube. And I have to do many different polls on the Mona to see what's hiding on that lip of hers. Because, you know, women, you don't want to get her lip to bite you, okay? Because, woo-wee, don't get a woman mad at you and she uses her lip on you because you don't need to use muscle. She does not need to use muscle. They, just, they, they are sharp as smart as a whip. Okay, I don't know how that ever comes about, but they know the meaning, and I don't mean disrespect. And so what I got to say, listen, you guys, you guys got me going. I'm having a ball deciphering the Mona, because this is a Leonardo da Vinci painting. It is the older Mona Lisa being serenaded by Jesus Christ. I've asked a couple women today, I said to them, I said, listen, if you wasn't married to your husband, he said, oh, oh, I got the greatest man on the planet. I said, yeah, yes, I will agree. Even though I don't know him, I'll agree just in the sense of, you know, making you, I'm sure you do, or you wouldn't be married to him. But if you had the opportunity to marry Jesus Christ, I says, you would use a second thought, wouldn't you? He says, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I says, that's why I was always jealous of Jesus Christ, because he can end up with all the women. So, what was the most greatest thing that Leonardo da Vinci could do? Woo, 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 woo. Marry the greatest guy that any woman would, couldn't almost turn down, or probably couldn't turn down, okay? It would be a holy old boy. And she's actually carrying a boy. A, do believe and I have that in my YouTube and there's x-rays in a discovery uh, uh, channel uh, uh, video that actually has the baby in it and so and matches a hundred percent to what's in my painting so listen there is so much to learn and I'm going on because I I can go on I, I don't even edit these things. I just throw a billboard and have the girl throw some music and boom, boom. And sometimes I can't even wait. I just tell her to do a billboard. Okay, because this stuff needs to get out there. Okay, so listen. <laughs> you need to get out there. You guys need to get out there. I am working for you guys. Really, honestly, this is not no fake. So I need you guys to get out there, use that splint like you use for your lollipops or whatever and tape up that broken finger and you hit the subscribe button notification and thumbs up and I need you to call all your friends brothers and sisters mothers and fathers and uh, and teachers and teach a teacher and I need you guys to social distance wear a mask wash your hands say your prayers and don't forget what I have to say may God bless the whole world the universe and the heavens and you have a beautiful, beautiful night. Amen. Don't forget to check the links and go back and forth on this. This is a triple study. It is cool. All right. You take care. Amen.